What's up? So if you're new here, my name's Tommy, but you probably don't care about any of that and you want me to get into the arc hacks. So let me change your browsing life forever. So if you don't know what ARC is, but it looks pretty intriguing to you, I actually have a video about that right there. But if you already know what ARC is, then we can just jump into some of these hacks. So let's start out with boosts. So boosts are something that are completely custom and original to ARC. So what they are is you can think of them kind of like Chrome extensions, where they kind of change websites and looks and feels of different websites and how they operate. Where boosts are interesting is they actually have much more customizability and they're super easy to use. So if I want to create a boost here on my laptop, I just go here and click into this control center icon right here. And then I can actually change the color of this entire website like that. The only reason why that's not changing is because that's an image. But let's say I don't like that image. I don't want that there. So I can click the zap button and literally take that out. So I'll just zap it and it's gone. And so now the page is like completely custom to however I want it. I can make it a lighter shade or a darker shade change like contrast, brightness, all this kind of stuff. Really make the website your own. And you can even change stuff in mass. So let's say I wanna take out all these pictures. Um, specifically, I can just hit zap and then zap it and then zap all related elements and just slide it until I get all the photos selected. And boom, now it's just the titles. So I find this really useful for a lot of school websites because a lot of times they're really clunky and hard to figure out. My canvas is completely kitted out. I would show you, but there might be some private information on there. Essentially, you can kit out whatever website you want. YouTube is one that I think a lot of people do. I, I completely got rid of the shorts page because I really don't like YouTube shorts. If you're like, look, Tommy, I don't want to get into customizing all these pages myself. I actually have something linked in the description called the Arc Boost Kit. Now, someone put this together and I really, really enjoy it because it has a lot of really popular websites that you would probably use. They're much more customized than you would know how to do because they involve a lot of coding. Um, which is kind of cool and if you did want to code i forgot to go over this you can go into the paintbrush and hit code and you can do javascript or css but you can come in here and you can blur your whatsapp page one that i really like and i want to give a shout out to is spotify downloader now what this one does is actually goes to your spotify page and lets you download different songs from spotify now i don't have it enabled on this laptop right here but spotify is a great page for customization because it honestly works super well especially with that gradient and if you like like light mode Spotify, this kind of looks ugly. Don't mind my version of it, but um, but it is super cool and it's really nice if you do learn JavaScript or CSS to kind of customize websites how you would like. So if you've been around Arc for a little bit, you've seen this easels feature. Now, I don't know if you guys have used it or not. If you're curious what it is, my other video, which I shouted out earlier, will actually show you um, what the easels are and how they work. But I kind of want to go over how to organize them. As of now, the way, only way to organize them is no way, essentially. They're all just listed in here with all your easels and your notes just kind of all together in a mess. One way to actually run this is to create a page and call this page like easels or notes. I called mine easels right here. And then so you can come in here, actually create a folder and put your easels in these different folders. What's nice about Arc folders is you can actually make a nested folder. So you can make folders within folders. And where this comes helpful is like, I have it for my designing page. I have all these different design websites that I love to use. And I can actually go in and ha look at the nested folders, which are super nice. But if I come back here, I can do that, especially with these. You can do notes for school. And it's super easy to add it in. You just uh, command T and open a new page. Let's create a new easel, for example, and we can just drop it right in here. But let's say you forget your easel, actually pull it from this page. So I can double click this and then open it and then pull this and then I can double click it and then hit move to and move it right to my easel. And it'd be super easy because then you can just put all your easels in this page and move them back and forth when you need to. But it's just a super nice way to organize and I felt like this was kind of a way around it since they don't really have an organization system as of late. But another nice feature about this is that the Arc mobile app doesn't actually let you view easels or even search for them it will actually let you look at easels if you have them in one of your spaces so this will actually give you access to all the easels on your phone lastly i want to cover some shortcuts that i love using and i think that speed up your workflow a lot especially when using arc and um, i'm just going to go over some of them pretty quickly so one of them is command c and that actually opens up a new tab 
and this is super useful because on the fly you can really open up tabs super quickly next you have command s now this is probably one of the most useful ones whenever you want a full screen in a page super easy you hit command s you're full screen command s you're not full screen it's just a really quick way to do that um and it's just like really fast i like how arc focuses on the speediness of the browser and they really cut out all of the animation stuff for the most part i mean it, it does animate a little bit but not too much last thing i want to talk about option click so if i want to split screen this page really really fast way to do that is just hit option and then click whatever tab you want in your sidebar so it's super quick because then i can just click another page so let's say i want chat gpt in there and i can have all three split really quickly now it's super useful especially when you're writing notes and stuff like that i mean let's say i'm doing a research report so i'll search egypt on google and then i want notes for egypt so i just type in egypt paper right here and then i just option click the tab and boom it's right here and then i can start dragging images in and all the stuff i want to add one last thing that i think is an honorable mention is that any video or media that's playing will actually automatically picture in picture so if we head over to youtube right here and then i click on any of these web any of these and then i'll hit play on this right all I have to do is just come to another space and it automatically goes to the side. And then when I come back, it goes here. Super fast way to do this. But if you didn't want to do it this way, you can actually come in here and uh, any tab you click on, boom. Even if I am watching the video and I switch, it'll actually pop up, which is super nice. So this is actually a different, different page entirely. So let's say I'm using Photoshop on this page. It's super nice because I can come back, browse YouTube, look at whatever video I want. So maybe I want to watch this and I swipe back over and boom, it pops up in the corner. And I really like how speedy this process is as well because this, this is just instantaneous. One last thing I wanna mention is that Arc constantly updates um, like literally two, three times a week. Their updates literally take about 10 seconds and you just hit update and boom, you're done, it's installed. And what's super nice about it is if you're ever curious what the update was about, you can just type in what's new. Um, and it'll pop up with release notes. And this week was actually a video, but in the prior weeks they were showing um, this long page and it would just show like all a little tidbits of what they're doing. They're super nice, they're in development still. And if you wanna support, I mean, I bought a sticker right here. I got the Arc sticker on my laptop and it's probably one of the best uh, startup companies that I've seen in a while. Granted, I'm only 19, so it's probably not too many startup companies, but it's one of the best that I've seen. Um, yeah, and if you enjoyed the video, be sure to drop a like or subscribe. I'm pretty much doing these videos weekly. All right, see you guys.